This is a lesson on graphing equations and our objective today is for you the students to be able to solve and graph equations uh, and you'll also be able to recognize when you've made a mistake um, because the goal of this lesson is to make a straight line on a graph and if you make some other kind of line a line with a, an elbow in it uh, it, it won't be straight and then something has gone wrong if your line is not straight. Uh, now this lesson has several steps in it and each one of those steps must be handled separately and in the end uh, you'll see that you end up with a straight line but to get there you have to go through a whole series of things. Right? In order to succeed in this lesson you're going to have to know how to add and subtract some integers and then identify some points on a coordinate plane and remember a coordinate plane is when you have an x and y axis and there's some points on there and then we're going to be working with ordered pairs today so that's always written as x first then y and our notes how do I find ordered pairs from an equation so we're going to start with an equation and then uh, go through a series of steps in order to figure out what are my ordered pairs and then once you have ordered pairs those um, points just get put on a graph and then hopefully your line is straight and again if your line is not straight then uh, something went wrong here's our uh, vocabulary for today so we're gonna have a coordinate plane and that's just the big graph the big grid and you have you know zero being in the middle and then just two number lines basically one going to the right uh, and the negatives going to the left and then you have a different number line going up and down and that would be you know positives on top negatives on the bottom and the axis that goes side to side is X and the one that goes up and down is the Y axis now we're gonna work with ordered pairs X and Y and then we're gonna work with a table of information it's an X and Y table it's also called a uh, input output table uh, but for uh, the lesson today, I'm going to refer to that as the X and Y table. All right, here's our first example. Now, this is just a watching example, and you'll see that there are several steps. And so here's the equation at Y equals X plus 2. Here's a blank uh, table for me to put some information on. And then when I have things in here, I have a value for X and a value for Y. That's going to be my ordered pairs. And so I have three blanks here and that's going to make three ordered pairs. So how do I find these ordered pairs? Well, first of all, uh, from this equation, you can't tell what X is and what Y is, right? Because you don't have enough information. So we have to, you know, choose one of these two and, you know, give it a, um, a value, either Y or X. And for this, we're going to choose X. What we're going to do is, we're going to say, well, that x is some value. Well, if x, x is something, then y must be something else, right? So uh, let's just take a look. First value I'm, I'm going to give for x is 3. So I'll just write it on my table right now. x is going to be 3. So what's the y if x equals 3? And you can choose any values. Um, just, you know, just choose values that fit on the graph. Like, you could choose five million three hundred seventy eight thousand twelve but it doesn't fit on the graph and so let's use smaller numbers okay the, like i said the, the math is pretty simple it's the organization that uh, becomes difficult so how do we find ordered pairs first we start by writing the equation y equals x plus two now we're going to solve that equation uh, giving the x a value and now in this example we're going to give x a value of 3 so y equals 3 plus 2 and then rewriting the equation again y equals 5 so I started with the equation substitute the value and then solved it so when the x is uh, 3 the y equals 5 and that's my first ordered pair 3 5 and that's going to go on my uh, my graph all right second thing is I'm going to change the value of x now so I can get a different value of y and get a different ordered pair. So starting with the equation y equals x plus 2, now I'm going to give the uh, x a value of 0. And again, you can choose any number you want to give the x 
uh, for, to give the value for x. So y equals x plus 2, and then rewriting it the second time, y equals 0 plus 2, and then y equals 2 in the long run. So when the x is 0, the y in this equation is going to be 2. All right, third time. Uh, this time I'm going to give it a value of, uh, let's say, 5. And again, any value you want. Starting with the equation now, I'm going to figure out what is the y if x is 5. So substituting 5 for the x. Oops, I almost wrote a multiplication sign there. 5 plus 2, and then y equals 7. So when the y or x is 5, the y equals 7. And now we're going to put these three points on the graph. So here's my first ordered pair, 3 and 5. So x, 3, y, 5. Uh, moving over to the 3 on the x, 1, 2, 3, and then up to 5 on the y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and putting my dot right there, my point. Uh, notice how it's right on the intersection of the blue lines and not, you know, off a little bit or in the middle of these, um, the white spaces. It goes right on the line. All right, here's my second ordered pair, x equals 0, y equals 2. So right now I'm at x equals 0, and I don't need to move to the right or the left because x equals 0, you're right in the middle. And then I'm going to work my way up to the 2 from the x, 1, 2, put my point at 0, 2, and then the last thing, 5, x5, y7. So I move over to 5 on the x-axis, there's 5. And then counting up 7 to the y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there it is, three points on the graph. I populated my x and y table. And then I'm going to connect the dots. And what you should have is a nice straight line. Now, the thing that uh, I want you to do, though, is since this is a line and not a line segment, uh, we need to continue our line all the way to the edge of the graph. And I'll just draw it real slowly just to make sure you're going the right way. And you don't draw a curved line. A ruler helps, you know, so get a ruler and draw yourself a nice straight line. And then the last thing you do is you label this line with the equation. So that line is a y equals x plus 2 line. All right, I'm going to move on into the guided practice now. And for the guided practice, you'll see that I use uh, different graphs for each one of these. But uh, for you, you can just put all of your equations on one big graph. All right, so here's uh, our example, y equals x plus 1. And I need to solve this three times for you know, different values for x. So I'm going to give x a value of 5 this time. And solving now y equals x plus 1, y equals substituting 5 plus 1, and now y equals 6. So when the x is 5, y equals 6. All right, second time you solve this, start with the equation, y equals x plus 1. And now let's give it a different number. How about negative 1? All right, so if the x is negative 1, then what would y be? So y equals negative 1 plus 1, which equals 0. So when it's negative 1, or x is negative 1, y equals 0. And then the last one, y equals x plus 1 is our equation. And then solving it, it's y equals, uh, let's give it an example of 2, OK? Uh, and again, you can pick any value you want for x x plus 1. So now we've chosen 2 as a value, so now the x becomes a 2, rewriting the other parts of the equation, and then the last step would be solving it. So when the x is 2, y equals 3. And now I have three points to put on my graph. So your x and y table, remember, makes your ordered pairs, and so that's 5 and 6, negative 1, 0, and 2, comma 3. So finding uh, 5, 6 first, I go to 5 on the x-axis, and then up to 6 on the y-axis. 
and put my point there. So it's at 5, 6, and now second one, negative 1 and 0. So here's the x-axis starting at 0. You go to negative 1. And then if the y is 0, that means you don't move up and down at all. You just put it right on that line there. And then the last point is uh, 2, 3. So starting at the um, origin here at 0, moving over to 2, and then up to 3, putting your point on the graph, uh, and then connecting the dots. And continuing... And then uh, you have your y equals x plus 1 line, and just label it. All right, so there it is. Here's my final product, y equals x plus 1. I have a straight line on the graph. Took a lot of work to get there, but I got it. All right, here's a, uh, an example, y equals x minus 2. I'm going to go through this one a little bit faster. So I'm going to pick a value for x. The first value for x I'm going to choose is 2. All right, so y equals not x now, but 2 minus 2. Therefore, y equals 0. So when the x is 2, y is the 0. Starting again, y equals x minus 2. This time I'm going to put a value of 0. So solving now or substituting y equals 0 minus 2. So the x is 0, right? So 0 minus 2 equals negative 2. So when the x is 0, y is negative 2. All right, one more value, we can choose something like 7. Uh, x equals 7. What would the y be if x equaled 7? Solve the equation one more time. Substitute the x for or 7 for the x, and then rewriting the other parts. y equals 7 minus 2 equals 5, right? So uh, when the x is 7, y equals 5. Now putting those points on the graph, uh, first one is 2, 0, so I'm going to move over to the 2, and then don't need to move up and down because it's at 0, so there's my point. Second one, now the x is 0, don't need to move right and left, I just need to move down to negative 2, put that there. And then uh, the third ordered pair is 7, 5. So I move over to 7 on the x and then up to 5 on the y. And make sure I put it right on the spot. There we go. And then we're going to connect that with a line. Goes all the way through those three points. Uh, and then arrows at the end of your line. And what do we label the line as? We label it as the equation that produced that line, which is y equals uh, x minus 2. Now here's the thing. You will get the same line no matter what you choose for the value of x. So if I chose 4, um, you know, 4 minus 2 is 2. Well, 4, 2 is right there. It's on the line. If I chose, you know, 3 for a value of x, 3 minus 2 is 1, so my ordered pair would be 3, 1. 3, 1 is right there. It's on the line. So um, all of the values you choose here will be eventually on this line, including if you went all the way out to the millions, it would still be on the line. All right, moving on now. Uh, here we have an example where it's kind of backwards now. It's not x plus or minus something. It's 3 minus x. Same principle involved here, though. So uh, we're going to choose some values for x and then figure out what the y would be based on that. So here we go with the equation first. So first thing, write the equation. Second step, substitute a value for x, and let's choose uh, 2. All right, so now the x is 2. Rewriting the expression or the equation y equals 3 minus 2, and so y equals 1. So when the um, x value is 2, y would equal 1. One more time, 3 minus x. Uh, let's choose 0 for x. So rewriting the expression now, y equals 3 minus 0, and then y equals 3. So when the x is 0, y equals 3. And then the last 
one, you're going to start with writing the equation <clears throat> and then uh, substituting a value for x. Let's pick the four. All right, so y equals three minus four. And so three minus four equals negative one, y equals negative one. So when the x is four, the y will be negative one. Now I have three points that I can put on the graph. First ordered pair is two, one. So I find the two, go up to one and put the point on there. And then uh, second one is x equals zero, y equals three. So now the x is zero there. Okay, I don't need to move right and left. And then I just move up to three. Uh-oh, the line's going the wrong way. Well, it's actually going the right way for that equation. Like I said, all equations have a different line. All right, so now we have uh, x equals four, y equals negative one. So I go over to the four and then down to the negative one and put a point. And now look, hey, they all line up. So I'm going to draw my line right straight through there. Extend my uh, line all the way out to the edges and then put some arrows on it and label it. That is a y equals three minus x line. And again, I've made a straight line so I know Everything's good. All right, so here's our task today. It's uh, H9-8 out of the homework book, and we're doing problems 1 through 12. Just a reminder, graph your points with X and Y. Remember, X is first, so side to side first, then up and down. And uh, your line in the end should be one straight line, not a couple of small crooked line segments. All right, good luck.